The side lengths of a triangle are x, x, and x plus 9, just like given in this figure. And what we have to do is find the length of each side. So as you can see, we have a right triangle with lengths x and x. Those are the same length, so we know it's isosceles. And x plus 9, right, it's 9 greater than x. That's going to be our hypotenuse, right? The hypotenuse is the longest side. And so, how are we going to solve for x? Well, what we can do is relate all three of these sides by the Pythagorean theorem. So we know that the sum of the squares of like a squared plus b squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. And so that's going to be x squared plus x squared is equal to x plus 9, the length of the hypotenuse, all squared. And so if we do the math here, on the left side, we're going to get x squared plus x squared. That's 2x squared. On the right side, if you expand this binomial x plus 9 times x plus 9, you're going to get x squared plus 18x plus 81. And now we have a quadratic equation which we can solve for x. So I'm going to move all the terms to the left side, and I switch the sides. So I subtracted x squared to get x squared on the left, but I flip the sides. Then I have negative 18x and then negative 81 because I moved all those to the left. And now we can, we can, you can try factoring this, but you can't factor it. And so what we're going to do is use the quadratic formula. And so plug in our a, b, and c values. So negative b plus or minus square root of b squared, negative 18 all squared, minus 14 times a times c, all divided by 2a. And if you simplify this, you're going to get 18 plus or minus square root 648 all over 2. You can actually simplify this radical factor out an 18 squared and so it's going to be 18 times square root of 2 simplify that even further and so our answers are two answers are 9 plus 9 square root of 2 and 9 minus 9 square root of 2 however 9 plus 9 square root of 2 that's a good answer but this this other one actually is a negative number and we know that because it, this is the length of a side of a triangle we can't have a negative length and so x has to be 9 plus 9 square root 2. And so these two side lengths, the two legs, or the isosceles sides, are 9 plus 9 square root 2. And the hypotenuse side is 9 plus x, right? x plus 9. So take this, add 9 to it, and you get 18 plus 9 square root 2 centimeters.